Mr. Noyd, how are you, sir? How are you doing, now? I take it you are not in favor of this union. No, not of course. She had the nerves to call me Papa Noy. We <laughs> ten she ten years younger than me. Stay 17 years apart. How are you gonna call me Papa Noy? How Noy? old are you? I'm 21. How old are you? How old are you? 30s. 30s. 30 what? what? Now come on, Judge Chola. Now you know. I'm 53. <laughs> proud of it. <laughs> that's, that's that's a woman's secret. 38, aren't you? How would you know that? <laughs> <laughs> He said it. He said his age and the he, age difference. See, that's, different. that's one of the things right there. That's it's immature. Called counting. He's always going around blasting our age difference. Like, mm -hmm. chill out on that. Everybody doesn't need to know that. Both of them crazy, Your Honor. <laughs> Both of them. Crazy uh -oh. like crazy. Mr. Noah, tell me about She blew about something, all right. She blew his mind. That's what she did. She blew his mind. The girl is crazy. Crazy. What? He crazy. Both of them crazy. <laughs> Scotty. Tell me what crazy things she's done. Well, first, first of all, when they got married, she called me, want me to teach him how to be a man. I said, you married him. You teach him how to be a man. He's still a kid. See and then, what I'm saying? And then he, I'm, I'm going over their house one time, he crawling out the window, running down the street in his underwear. I'm like, what the hell is going on over Cause here? Because he said, because I'm nagging him. Because I'm su supposed to be nagging him. I'm trying to get this man, whip him into shape. Now, He's now, immature. He's too clingy. He's 21. Ms. Ms. Jacob, what did you think you were getting when you got somebody who was 21 years old? What did you think he was gonna bring to the table? Some penis, some... She said penis. A paycheck. <laughs> penis and a paycheck. I mean, Your Honor, okay, so he brought that to the table, but he's oversexed. But it's too much. He want to have sex three times a day. He's wearing it out. You know, he's always... Hey, yes. I get it. I get it. So it's like one of those things where it's enough, like you got to be careful enough, what you ask for. Enough. Enough. Mr. Noyd. They're crazy. I told you. They're as, crazy. As gently as possible. Can you tell me whether or not there is a disparity in your sex drives? There is. There is, Your Honor. I come home from work. You know, and I like a little foreplay. My foreplay sometimes has to be, you know, me getting some food. And I come into the house. She got a TV dinner ready for me. And I'm like, how you expect me to want to have sex with you when you feeding me TV dinners? And she be eating all gourmet meals, coming home yes. talking about she was at IHOP. I'm like, well, you go feed me. You, but you go feed me some TV dinners and want me to jump on top of you. But then when I finally do get on top of her, when I finally do get a chance to have sex with her, she talking about, oh, I'm tired. What you been doing all day? Chilling at home while I work. When Divorce Court continues, has Jakarta taken her temper too 